Our first guest tonight is a legendary comedian and actor who you know from films such as Uncut Gems, The Wedding Singer, and Happy Gilmore, and of course his time on Saturday Night Live. He executive produced and stars in Hustle, which is in select theaters now and on Netflix tomorrow. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Adam Sandler, everybody! <laughs> That was that post Malone thing was so fun. We got after it. He and I. That was so. We got after it a little bit. How did bit. nobody even throw up there? Um, I'm not saying nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the magic of editing is very oh helpful. Oh my there. god. No, I, uh, Adam, a little worried. You got It's you, something got, happened here. You got a black eye. I got. I wish it was. I've been telling people that I fought Jake Paul, <laughs> but I, I, I didn't. I, I just. I was in bed and I my. Phone flew up, and so I was. Okay, I I've been talking about it today. I feel like an idiot saying it again, but I was stuffed in a bed. You know when they tuck, you know when they tuck it in the bed, and they don't on, they tuck it under the thing yeah. like that, and you make the decision before you get into bed. You go, do I want to struggle pulling that? Let me just get in there. And I I didn't pull. I didn't pull. So I got in there, and then like four in the morning, I was going, why did I? And then, and my stupid phone was here, and I was kicking the thing, and it flew in the air and hit me in the face. <laughs> don't, don't let anybody tell you that's an embarrassing story. That, <laughs> I think that's a great, that's a great mm -hmm. way to get a black guy. Um, fortunately, that happened. I guess that happened after this. So at least you did not have a. Uh, yes. So you, uh, you gave the commencement at your alma mater. Yes. Uh, and you, uh, yes, school. yes, yes. That was a great day. This is stressful, though, right? Oh my God! Once I said that I'm doing that, I was so. Uh, terrified to do the speech because I, it meant a lot to me and I wanted everybody yes. to be happy and, met, and I knew everyone's families were there and it's anyways I, I worked hard and we had a great time do you know I'll tell you this this is funny uh, uh, Fred I think you're like this I, I, I did, when I was like getting I, I did uh, Punch Drunk Love yeah and I did and I was, I was so excited I did a cool movie blah 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 um, and I was like I bet my NYU uh, those guys were like that movie there, because I was always doing comedies. I mean, it's pretty got pretty serious that school. So I was like, they'll like the Punch Drunk Club. But so me and Paul Thomas Anderson got invited to talk to the film school, and I remember walking out there going, "It's pretty cool, man. They get, like I, I made something to myself." Bob, I sit down, and I'm with PTA next to him, and literally every question. You want any questions for these guys? Every question, Mr. Anderson. Uh, what what camera did you use in Boogie Nights or blah blah blah? And I, literally like thirty in a row, I was going. <laughs> <laughs> They're just asking Mr. Anderson everything because he's the king of film, and I was just like, you know, when I did Bobby Boucher. <laughs> anyway. You got that, that where you get sweaty yeah. and you start like looking yes. for it. Yeah. I'm like like, do I look at Paul too and ask him something? How did you do? Uh... <laughs> It um, uh, it's fantastic. We, uh, we've talked in the past about uh, your girls, 16 and 13. Yes. yes and growing yes. up. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, my, so that my uh, daughters and the boys are now going to be involved uh, with their life and that. How are you feeling about that? I get very nervous and very yeah. tense. I'm not very comfortable with that. I'm, I think I'm more comfortable with my wife bringing home somebody. <laughs> I like, I would actually feel like, all right, yeah, I have more in common with like boys that age, 30 and 60, I literally have nothing to talk to them about. My wife, if she brought, I'd be like, hey man, you, you, you go to my golf club, right? <laughs> I, I have fun with my wife, just not, don't stay out too late. <laughs> 16, uh, driving? I mean, I, yes. I, LA kid, gotta learn how to drive, right? Uh, her, it comes out of nowhere. You're gonna see. All of a yeah. sudden, the nice little kids are, are like their friends are all driving. My my daughter uh, uh, is getting her license next next month, and we they, she drives around with the driver's ed guy, which is cool. But then she's got to practice with us, me and my wife. And you're like in the you, like the driver's ed guy has the brake, <laughs> and, and, and so he's like safe. I'm like with my 16 year old daughter, and I don't. I'm nervous for her because like there's a partition that you can't. I don't know how I'm gonna hit the brake, like dive over or push on it. <laughs> and, and so I'm just like, I'm not nervous. I don't want her to get hurt. You know, like me, I don't think about I'm gonna die, uh, which I'm, I'm almost like, you know what? I've had enough. I, I've, 
I, I don't mind me dying, but I'm like, this kid's got a nice, so I want to help her. So when she went to school one day, I went out in our family car and sneakily installed a brake. I had one of the guys who knows what he's doing put a brake on my side, so just in case when we were driving around. Do you have a driver's side brake on your I car I have a now? driver, just a, like a, a pull thing. Nobody knows about it. My kid don't know about it. I never had to use it with her. My wife, though, we were driving, we got into the car. <laughs> And she was like, before we go to dinner, I'd, I'd love to go to this antique store. And I was just like. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know, I feel, that's a little whatever. A little hacky. You got a, uh, we've talked about uh, the first bat mitzvah. You got another one coming up or have you had it? Have you had we it had, both? We had the bat mitzvah uh, a couple weeks ago in my other, and it was Okay, so you've got them both out of the way now. Cost a lot of money, those yeah. things. Was, yeah. Did it, while you were watching uh, theirs, did it remind you of your bar mitzvah? <laughs> my, my kid's bar mitzvah was like an extravaganza. I don't even know what the hell's happening. Are they all insane dancing and everyone's in sex, there's like sexuality running around. And, uh, but my bar mitzvah was just in the basement at my parents' house. I just, they, my, I think we went to the temple in the day. My parents maybe bought some meatballs or something. <laughs> Put it downstairs in the basement. <laughs> Some neighbors came over, I think. But that was the first time I jammed. I had a, I had my guitar teacher had a band, and he was the band, and he let me play my Sharona. I played my Sharona when I was 13, and all my friends gathered around, and I played my Sharona, and I was singing, and I, all my New Hampshire friends were like, Sandler can sing, man. <laughs> and I was like looking people directly in the eyes, just going, ding, 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 ding. and that was like my first time getting That's the, very formative. I feel like that is like what you would want to hear yeah. about a bar mitzvah. Like yes. you crossed a threshold there. I swear to God, I think I went to bed that night going, I gotta, I'm gonna be a rock star one day. <laughs> and then I swear to God, I went to NYU, and I thought I was gonna be a rock star until I got to NYU, and in my hallway, there were like five other guys playing guitar, just doing every, <laughs> everything. And I was just going, I gotta be a comedian. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna compete with that. Uh, I wanna talk about the new film, which is great. We'll be right back with more from Adam Sandler.